Free Beat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Free Beat. Uh, you guys know the drill. New videos every day. Most of the time they're music related. I guess this could kind of be music related. Let's play some music. Cool. All right. Well, now that I've fulfilled that requirement, uh, we are back in the shed slash studio shed slash becoming the studio, I should say. Today's goal is to come up with like a rough game plan for where I want stuff set up. Um, I did confirm that this furniture will be leaving soon. Uh, so that's nice. I believe including those chairs. Um, and then we can start looking at getting the piano into a position over here as well. Um, and kind of maybe swapping, <laughs> swapping this stuff with the piano. I think that'll help. Um, I definitely want to, uh, you know, I should say I definitely don't want to uh, intrude on uh, Oliver and his wife because of course this is their space. Um, but I think getting the piano on this side will actually make things a little easier for them to get to. Um, you know, especially that shelf over there. I can't remember the last time uh, <laughs> we got stuff off that shelf. Uh, these doors do swing out into the back of the backyard. That wall opens up, uh, which is how the lawnmower comes out. There's like a ramp. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think today will be a good day. And uh, I'm excited to get going. So uh, I'm going to get to work and I'll check in with you guys in just a minute or two. All right, so I was just in the process of moving a few things around, and I found this. This is an Agazarian, which is a Guitar Center house brand, uh, China symbol. And uh, let's hit it. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. Also, I'm sure you guys can hear it, but uh, the power company is, uh, or someone at least is trimming the trees away over there. I think it's the power company. Yeah, that's fine. But honestly, better they do it now while I'm setting up than, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks when we're actually filming in here. Alrighty, so, update. <laughs> I've got a lot of this uh, kind of squared away in a lot, uh, just more tidy of a fashion uh, with some of the furniture tucked in there, the uh, chairs there, golf clubs still easily accessible uh, the bike will also be more easily accessible than it was before um, and the space is starting to come together uh, so keep in mind in this man they are loud I thought I moved out here to avoid the <laughs> loudness so my whole setup is going to consist of the drum set a filming desk which I think is gonna be maybe right along this wall here uh, about twice as wide as I have now and probably half as deep. Um, and then a editing desk. Actually, I think the filming desk will go over here. The editing desk will go there uh, with the window. That'll be nice. And then the filming desk over here, that means I can probably either mount an overhead camera off of the, the rafters here or have a tripod somewhere in this stuff. Um, a lot of people asked, like, is all of this stuff going? No, it is definitely not. Um, it is staying here. This is what I'm gonna be working with. Uh, there's no heat or AC out here. Uh, it's not too bad though. I've worked in it here in the, like, the dead of winter. And it, honestly, it wasn't that bad. Um, summer, it can get hot, but uh, in the summers, my plan is to be done early, like be done by around noon or one o'clock most days. But yeah, we're not installing uh, heat or AC out here. I mean, we do have power and whatnot. Um, if anything, I will be dampening the sound a little bit, but uh, aside from that, no, I'm just basically moving out here for the uh, improvement of space. And I know this doesn't seem like a lot of space, but compared to what I have now, uh, it is a humongous upgrade. Literally, right now, all I have is like a three foot by two foot desk, and that's the entire workspace. That's also where I edit my videos as well, um, you know, film them, then I have to store all the gear away, this is going to be a huge improvement. So next, I'm gonna try to find a place for this uh, coffee table here and this end table, probably just right here. Uh, and then we'll find a better spot for the bike uh, to where that is accessible. And then we might start to make some semblance of a drum kit just to see how we're looking uh, space-wise. But I'm feeling pretty good so far. I might see if Oliver's wife is down to move like that stuff. 
but again i don't want to intrude you know um, i want everything to stay just as accessible as it was they've already gone out of their way for me just by allowing me to uh, use this space again so uh yeah i'm gonna make it work for me and it's all basically a film set you know so <laughs> as long as the end result on camera looks good you know the filming location looks okay and you can't tell we're in the middle of a an old shed that's that's all right uh, it's a film set so you control what the viewer sees you know i get to determine what you guys see uh when uh when the videos go live so uh yeah i'm feeling pretty optimistic about this space all right so here we are uh, about a half hour later I don't know if you guys can tell, but I moved quite a bit of stuff around actually. Well, not really, I mean a lot, but I just made some sensible storage decisions and things can move easily. So uh, when it comes time to get rid of the furniture, these two pieces can easily go. We move the bike, move the golf clubs and the chair and that furniture can go. Um, and then I would, you know, those things can sit there as well. But I tried to keep uh, everything as accessible as possible. Um, Oliver's wife, uh, like I, I might have mentioned yesterday, I don't know, has a horse, so there's a lot of spare horse stuff uh, here, and that all needs to be easily accessible, including all of those uh, great blankets up there. Uh, but yeah, we are looking pretty good. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I don't know if it reads on camera, but like just the fact I can walk around in all of this uh, space right here, I'm feeling pretty darn good about this setup. So uh, ideally what I would like to do is set up the drums facing this way. Um, like I'm playing out. Um, Oliver and I had been talking about maybe doing some kind of permanent live show setup in here. Uh, so that would it would be very easy uh, to do more live shows. I think to do that though, uh, this stuff here might have to move, uh, which I don't think we're in any position to do that right now. Um, so I might set the drums up how the acoustic kit used to be in the old, old videos, uh, just facing that wall there, uh, and that way I can get them right up against uh, this lovely Victoria's Secret trunk. Uh, yeah, and then still have room for, like I said, an editing uh, station as well as a filming station. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just roughly set up the kit and get an idea of how things are gonna look. All right, so we've got the main drum rack. Probably shouldn't leave the module out in the sun like that for too long. Uh, we got that outside. That's because I have cleared out all of this and we're gonna roll or unroll the rug. Let's do that now. You know, if you wanna make a space feel different, a, a big rug doesn't even have to be anything nice. It can be ugly and nasty like this one, but a rug will make a huge difference in uh, what you're doing. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Okay, we got the rug down. Um, I'm gonna have to flatten it out, obviously, because it's been rolled up, but uh, time to bring the rack in and start setting things up. Okay, so I've got the rack situated like this, and uh, seeing the kit set up in this fashion makes me realize that probably until uh, we get the furniture out of here and can move a few more things around. This is not going to be the setup. I'm probably going to have to flip the rack around and have it uh, like we used to against that rack or that uh, chest there if we do indeed want to have an editing workstation and a filming set uh, desk area. So a uh, little bummed about that, but uh, it'll still work just fine. And uh, getting a camera mounted over there for like overhead shots will work, um, you know, pretty easily. All right, so as you can see, no drums outside. No drums right here. That can only mean if we spin around. Yep, we got the kit set up and uh, I'm quite happy uh, with how it looks right now. Uh, when I played this at the apartment, I had to have everything squished in super tight. Uh, like both of the main arms here had to come in super tight and uh, it was very hard to like rehearse for the live shows. I did most of the live show rehearsals actually um, like while we were set up in the garage. Uh, that's when I did most of my personal rehearsing, I should say. But uh, yeah, so now I can have the kit fully opened up. And uh, one of the main reasons I had to find a new place to set this up is that the project I mentioned yesterday that I was working on that's unrelated to Freebeat uh, is going to require me to have uh, several more toms going up here and there was no way that was gonna happen in the apartment. Uh, there's actually gonna be a few more pads over here as well and down here. Uh, so yeah, that was not gonna happen in the apartment, no way. But 
here it will work just fine. And this is really exciting because this is basically like uh, like the video title says only day two of uh, you know getting this uh, set up and ready to go. Uh, so once the furniture is out of here, that's going to be a, a lot more room to open things up. I'm hoping, like I've said uh, a few times, to make this a a positive experience for Oliver and his wife as well. Uh, kind of give them some more access to their shed even though I'll have a whole bunch of stuff in here um, but yeah uh, I'm, I'm excited this uh, this gets me going I wish I would have brought like the power and stuff for the drum module and whatnot and some headphones because I'd play a little bit right now but uh, yeah I still think that uh, there's gonna be a small desk over here for the computer and the keyboard and a mouse whoops there's an old drum hoop that needs to come home with me actually but I think, uh, I think a small, tiny little desk here with the keyboard, uh, monitor. Uh, yeah, the sampler's gonna go right here, and then we'll do a keyboard and mouse right here with the monitor and the tower under the uh, desk. And of course, we've got power right there for everything. Yeah, this is gonna work. I am excited. And then over here, we will have my filming desk, so I will have to get a new desk for that as well. Um, so for the first couple days, we might be doing some makeshift filming, um, you know, location-wise and whatnot. Right now, of course, I have the standing desk. I might uh, turn this into a sitting uh, situation. I think I will, actually. Uh, and I can, yeah, have a lot more space to film at, uh, as well as get better overhead shots and just better camera angles in general. So I am really happy with uh, the progress for day two. I think we're looking pretty solid. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini-series. I know it might not be the most exciting thing uh, to watch, but trust me, I'm having the time of my life getting this stuff going and realizing that, uh, you know, once again, I'll have a, a space to use to make content for you guys. So, uh, yeah, if you are excited about that, be sure to hit that like button. If not, you can hit the dislike button. That's okay, too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Clearly, some big changes are coming to the channel. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.